My name is Karen McCorder. I'm the Scarlet Curator of the Whitney Western Art Museum at the Buffalo Bill Center of the West. I loved artwork from a very young age. My parents took me to museums starting, you know, when I was a child and certainly through my teens. And I actually wanted to be an artist myself, but was never quite brave enough to tackle that as a career and learned that I was pretty good at writing about it and talking about it, and I loved being around it. So art history was a natural next step for me. Um, my undergraduate degree is in studio art, so I think I bring to the table a real appreciation and understanding of the materiality of artwork, of the creative process. My master's is in art history. Um, I earned that at CU Boulder in Colorado. And from there, I moved on to the Denver Art Museum where I worked in their Western American art department um, for about five years in varying capacities. And then the last two years, I've been in Cody, the Buffalo Bill Center of the West. Art objects as physical things are incredibly important to understand aspects of history and also human creativity. They are records of the human capacity to respond to their environment to an incredible range of emotions. And that's why I was always drawn to museum work is because we are the stewards of collections of objects. I'm not um, you know, flipping through pages of a book where images are reproduced. I'm actually dealing with physical man-made objects. And in those we can see the traces of an artist's hand, and, and that in itself is very relevatory. At the center of the West, we're lucky enough to have four studio collections, which means we have collections incredibly diverse, ranging from works of art, formal paintings and sketches, to makers' tools. And so we can explore the creative process of artists Frederick Remington, Alexander Femster Proctor, Joseph Henry Sharp, and W.H.D. Kerner, all four of those really sentinels of Western American art history in, in exploring their studio collections. Art is a window onto history, but we need to be careful not to look at it as necessarily a factual representation of what happened. Artists, by nature, um, create artifice, works of art. So they bring to each work of art, whether a bronze or an oil on canvas painting, their own perspectives of the world around them. And so when we look at paintings, it is important um, to understand that an artist values his political leanings, perspectives on the world, uh, necessarily are part of that. Art's never created in a vacuum, but, you know, as I discussed, the art of Alfred Jacob Miller, He's the only artist to have depicted the fur trade during a very brief moment in American history in the 1830s. So he is who we look to at both his artwork and his narrative journals for perspective on that region. And as it pertains to Western American art and its history, the, the visual arts are incredibly important in telling that story. Um, they provide perspective on the earliest chapters of exploration, all the way to artists today grappling with contemporary issues that we face. 